Okay, you drive in then. Months before we get cracking on the next bit, got to widen these a bit to clear the frame. And this step I've put in just needs doing a tiny bit more. It's just holding off the surface that this butts up to. So when I do it up, this is trying to bow. It's only slightly, but if I just bring this up a tiny bit more, that should cure that. So they're the first bits I'm going to do. And then we'll get on with shaping these sides into the little panels I've made. So, back on with this. And a bit more shaping. have a look at that that's better that's where we'll just check that now so it doesn't I say good chance it will start to split if you push it too much which it has done there but we've weld in a blanking plate on the back of this so that'll automatically get welded up that well yeah, let's just try it on the bike to see if it's sitting flush onto the frame now we've got uh, a bit more of an angle on these I didn't push that anymore it's just going to start stretching far too much and splitting all the way up if I ain't careful at the minute it's still got uh, a good bit of strength in there So it's a little bit better, but there's still a tiny bit of a void there. It's like a wedge. So I don't know if you can see that bit. So where that meets up here and connects back here, I've sort of got a tiny little gap. It's it's really small but it's enough when these nuts are done up it's enough to cripple the panel and sort of misshape it oh, I don't want that sort of sort of like all the old rivets in a Land Rover you've know, seen them where, the, where the, all the rivets are and the, the body all, is all buckled I don't want that lock so we, I think what I'll do to get round it is do a little wedge in there to take up the space. Then it'll all have something flush to bolt up to and we won't get that rippling effect like an old Land Rover. Nothing up with old Land Rovers by the way. I love them. <laughs> but I don't want that on this. Yeah, we'll do that. <sighs> Right, uh, okay, I've done this little wedge 
I don't know if you can make that out. So I've ground a taper onto that. And that should correct that difference in the angle of that plate on the frame to this. And that will stop that rippling happening when I uh, when I bolt the tail unit on. So I think we'll just try that in place. What I'll do with that, I shan't fix it to this. I'll just pop a couple of little holes in this and tack it to the frame. Because if we do that to this, it's a good chance we're going to distort all the underneath the surface and put the rippling back in that I'm trying to avoid. So we'll, we will fix that to the frame. I think that'll do it. Let's go and try it. What I'm going to do is just slide it on and then we're going to put the tail unit back on and do it up to make sure it is curing the problem. I think it will do. It looks like the gap's gone. Right. This is a rough fiddly thing to get on. You can't, you can't see the holes to line it up. There we go. I keep testing it to make sure nothing is going out of shape. That's better. It's not pulling it in now. Before it was dishing around the holes. That's loads better. I'm happy with that. I think we'll do this little blanking piece now. Yeah. We'll do that blanking piece and put it, try it all back on again. I'm happy with that. Okay, I've got a, a plate just tacked onto the end now. Uh, I've made it a little bit bigger than what I really need, so it'll give me a bit of material to trim back if need be. So I'll just seam this up and then we'll dress it all in. shaping it to go around things and put uh, up there in the back light. Uh, we'll try it on the bike now and see how that goes. Then on with the next bit. Yeah, so next is this area here. The slots that I've put in to go around the frame, I need to make them a bit bigger. And then we need to continue with this lip to follow.
follow this little side panel here. As you can see, it's just going to be pretty straightforward all the way down. And then I think I'll just terminate these under there. I might just need folding up a tiny bit, like shaping up into that. And that'll do it. It's coming together bit by bit. <coughs> right, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, get a crease going in this. And then fold the edges up to go inside the side panels. I'm starting this because it gives me a good line to, to fold up. got these edges up I've just got to trim these off now because I'm not taking this all the way down to the tank because we got these so I'm just going to trim these off and then do something with these shapes here so let's just cut them off well that's then trimmed off we've still got this center piece that we've got to shape up obviously I'll do the brackets on this side fit these uh, there may be a little bit of messing about to get them to fit nicely into the base of these but I'm not fussed about that yet I can do that when we've got brackets and it's all fixed to the bike I'm thinking of doing some with these shapes here just to perhaps make it look a bit better than a cut shape and add some strength to it. So, I'll have a little think about that. And, uh, yeah, I'll do something different. Okay then, with this bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of strength into here as well as a bit of shape. So I've cut this out. What's that, about eight mil. I'm gonna fix that looks a bit rough this side before I start but uh, it's smooth enough that side to get the shape I want so I'm going to fix that that even to there and I'm going to shape that little area around this because I, I was just going to cut these bigger but shaping it will make it bigger and add a little bit of strength and it should fit around the tube on the frame a bit better we'll see how we go anyway I'm going to clamp that to there and probably tack it just do some little tacks at the bottom so that stays put while I uh, shape the under tray around it do it Here and here. 
here because I can just trim that off when I'm done. Trying to keep the ammo marks right on the edge, and I'll, I'll just dress them out then. But uh, when it's all on the bite, you're not going to see that, but I'll still tidy it up. Again, we can't go too fast, it will start splitting. So I did a lot of, a lot of strength. Just a real thin piece where the frame runs go. Right, I think we'll uh, we'll do this side now, and that'll be that'll be today done, and that'll be the hardest part of this job done.
little bit there. far off with that there might be a bit of trimming here and there but that's the main shape of the under tray yeah so uh, might need a little bit of tidying up here when we go to fit the side panels properly now that's not a problem I think I was going to roll that up because the frame rolls up there. I think I might leave that flat for now because it might be a nice little space to put something for the uh, the electric side of things. If I go and roll it up, I'm going to reduce that space because there is a space between the seat pan and this. So yeah, I think I might leave that flat for now. Uh, yeah, that's took a fair bit of work. That <laughs> just a simple bit of bit of plate that I've spent. Uh, I won't say a solid two days because uh, I've had a couple of visitors on and off, but it's uh, good few hours working. That good few hours keep all that flush I am going to do something a bit different here rather than them two nuts hanging out from the back <laughs> hey. so what I might do is put a bit of a I don't know something like 8 mil thick plate or we'll probably go away with 6 mil but sort of nicely shaped somehow and get some of them slotted countersink nuts and fit it that way. Let's try this on the bike. See how it fits. I'll just drop straight in there now. And I'll put, uh, put tail unit on first. This has been on and off for a few times over the last couple of days. You'd think I'd be able to do it straight away now. There we go. Oh, we've got that little wedge that I made. Just obviously to stop this crippling up. In fact, let me go and put another dab of grease on there just to hold it up. Save me fiddling around. There we go. I am going to sort of spot weld it to that. I'll hold it up and yeah, get this bit on. I am going to make something a bit better than that as the fixing points. Just uh, fill in corners in a tiny bit more. Just with the plastic moulding is like a 
a bit that goes across there but I think I'll be able to fill that in a tiny bit better and bits have come out all right but everything clears the frame now that panel fits nicely all I've got to do with this bit now this side just needs sort of rolling up slightly to fit into the uh, the side panels. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that bit for now, that centre bit, to see what happens. I might I might end up rolling it up. I think I'm gonna have plenty of space here and there to, for anything electrical to hide. all that's got to have its brackets underneath that will hold this straight and keep this panel perfectly in line yeah so the next little job is just to roll these up a tiny bit to fit into the uh, into the side panel and anyway it's worked out okay Right, I think, oh, getting my cables tangled up. I think that is my day done. I think blue's done as well. You say blue? You had enough? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, he's getting out of his chair. No, he's just got up. <laughs> it's a hard life, isn't it? Anyway, guys. That's uh, another good chunk done. I think it's quite late, so that's me finished. I'm going to go and put my feet up and have a rest. Cheers for watching, guys.